Let's talk about three cool features of Microsoft Edge DevTools. One, color themes. Second, moving, closing and opening tabs. And third, finding out more information about the tools. I'm working on a website here, DevTools Tips, and I've got DevTools open. And if you're like me, you use Visual Studio Code. That's what I do. And I have my favorite theme there is Solarize Dark. I like using this theme. You can change it in Visual Studio Code. Um, with the drop down here to choose from many of the pre-installed themes, but this is my favorite. One thing that was added in DevTools recently is the ability to do exactly the same, and that's awesome. I can open the command menu, type theme, and look at all of the different themes that are available now. And Solarize Dark is also available there, so I can have a consistent experience between my editor and my DevTools, and I love it. The second thing that I want to demo today is, and I'm going to make DevTools bigger for this one, is the ability to open, close, and move tools around really easily. Um, now, I know that I've used a tool recently called Rendering, and I don't remember where it is because, let's face it, there are so many tools and buttons all over the place that it's really hard to find out where they are. Uh, Edge DevTools recently added this plus button. It exists both in the main panel as well as the drawer panel at the bottom here. And when you click on it, it basically gives you the entire list of all of the possible tools that you can open. And rendering is right here. So I can open it again. Um, I can close it again with a close button. This is also recently added. So if I end up needing network conditions and you know performance and then i want to do some you know playing out with a uh, location overrides and and things like that i can then declutter my ui by closing all of these things getting rid of everything i don't need and going back to my you know most used tools element sources console issues and and things like that uh, another thing that was also recently added is the ability to move tools around between those two regions of the main DevTools UI. So I can right click on a sources panel and move to bottom. If I want to see both my, you know, my sources as well as network panel at the same time so that I can maybe, you know, refresh and, and, and hit a breakpoint when I do that or, you know, whatever you might need. Um, and you can do this with any of the tools. I can have the layers panel down at the bottom or up at the top. Maybe I want to see the layers as well as the 3D view, um, which might be a useful combination for you if you're debugging, you know, how your website is organized in terms of like Z index and, and how many layers get created and, and things like that. So that's really quite useful. The last feature that I want to talk about today is, again, there are so many tools. So maybe you're not familiar with the rendering panel that I mentioned before. You know, it's like a big list of options. I don't really understand what they do. So one thing that got added is a help mode. Go to the main menu, help toggle the DevTools tooltips, and that gives you an overlay panel. Um, oh, sorry, just an overlay that floats on top of the tools and gives you a lot of information about what each of them do. So for example, rendering, I have a useful information pop up here that tells me all about what it does. And I can, while this mode is active, I can move around in the tools and keep on finding out more, right? I can move to the layout tab and discover what it does. And I can also click on the learn more uh, button to jump over to the docs as well. So, you know, if you're interested in understanding more about DevTools, but you're, you know, not really want to look at all of the docs from the very start, you can do it the other way around. Open DevTools, play around with it, and then get the docs from there. You can escape with the escape key. There's also a shortcut, so Control shift h on Windows. I think it's Command shift h on Mac to open or close. And last but not least, you can use the Command menu, Control shift p uh, to also open the tooltips. There you go. And then escape to get out of it. And that's it for today. I hope those three features were useful to you.